Howdy folks. So it's that time of year where you can open the windows and uh, your house doesn't become 35 degrees. So uh, bugs like flies and everything are inevitable. And uh, well, I normally like to uh, let spiders and centipedes and other things live because they're generally good, but um, flies are just fucking annoying. So uh, I thought I'd, uh, I'd get one of these. This is an electric uh, fly zapper. Um, and I've never had one of these before, so, uh, of course it beats the, uh, the old news, actually, I guess, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I'd just roll up some newspaper and swat the fly, but I mean, I don't get a newspaper anymore, so it's kind of difficult, so, uh, this is the, uh, the next best thing, it was pretty cheap, I think it was like 12 bucks or something delivered, um, so I just thought I'd, uh, take it apart and, uh, see, uh, how they're generating the high voltage, so I guess, uh, I might as well give you a demo. Um, it's just got two AA batteries in this battery door here. Um, there's a little button on the side and you push it um, and this green light comes on and obviously it stays charged for quite a while and hopefully this discharge doesn't create any EMI. Screw up my computer. So uh, it definitely has a bit of kick to it. So that is safe to touch. So basically there's three layers. There's uh, two of this large mesh, one on each side, and then there's a thinner mesh on the inside, um, and obviously uh, the two outer ones are probably negative and the, in the inside is positive. Or, uh, the polarity doesn't exactly matter, but the difference between the two is probably however many volts. I'd expect it to be a couple kilovolts, um, but we'll actually we'll find out how much capacitance it's got, and there's just this uh, this plastic which spaces it out and got the nice little lightning bolt there and everything. When I actually got this, the inside was actually bent um, and it was actually contacting the outside and it was shorting out. So I, if you'd bought this, you'd turned it on, it wouldn't have worked. So um, obviously the quality control, I don't know if it got damaged in shipping because it, it only came in a bag. So I'm not entirely sure um, where, where it got damaged. But uh, yeah, if you didn't know what was going on, you'd just think it didn't work. The batteries are recessed really far into this thing. Um, it's kind of unusual the way they've done the battery holder. So uh, it's just a couple of screws. So that just lifts off. No problems at all. Don't want the screws to go everywhere. Okay, so this is what we've got inside. So we've got our battery terminals here and we've got Two wires and one so. Obviously uh, these two wires here would be for the outside uh, and this yellow wire would be for the inside, that's my guess. And uh, this looks really, wow, look at that, holy shit. Look at how bent that board is. And it looks like, let me just take this off, it looks like that capacitor is so big. Oh my god, yeah it is. I really, I'm, I'm, even though it's discharged, I'm still afraid I'm gonna get bit by this thing. Yeah, look at that. They've bent that board because this cap, this output cap, is so big uh, and they've only screwed it on one side. Um, it's because this is flat on the top and this is a round case. That's just horrifyingly bad. Uh, I mean, that's designed that way. That's just... I'm, I'm not impressed. So anyway, uh, we've got the input comes in. We've got a uh, just a little green LED here. One of the leads is heat shrunk so it doesn't short against the other. We've got a, a current limiting resistor for that. I've got our push button here. Um, we've got obviously a transistor, bipolar or MOSFET, not quite sure, um, and that's going to run our uh, step-up uh, transformer here. We've got some diodes for the rectifier, and our main capacitor here is a 2 kilovolt, 223 nanofarad capacitor. So. Um, it's safe to say this thing is probably one, one and a half kilovolts or so. That's that's my guess. Um, we've got a, uh, a, a suppression cap across the output. Um, so it's perfectly standard. I mean, 
Either this is a, a transistor, or I'm, I'm actually starting to think this is probably a an IC, um, just because uh, it, 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 it's either um, it's either an IC or this is a self oscillating circuit, uh, and you don't hear any whining when this thing's running. So that makes me think this may be an IC with an internal oscillator. Um, let me see if I can get a part number on that. The thing that scares me is probably how much, um, actually, it, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because, I mean, normally you would check the uh, insulation between the primary and the secondary of the transformer uh, in relation to, you know, basically what separates you from mains, but in this case, it's not really mains, it's just the battery, so I guess it's not really that bad. Um, it, I mean, if the insulation fails, it just, it fails. Um, so I'm reading this upside down, so this could get a little interesting. Uh, KSH200 ZH09. So uh, not sure what that is off the top of my head, but uh, I'll pop it in the corner if I know. Um, nothing else really on here. And no other real markings. The the board the board being bent is just it just it's just awful. Uh, but I mean uh, I mean it works. Uh, it does the job. So uh, yeah, I mean I guess what do you expect for twelve bucks, right? So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I mean there's really nothing else in here. So anyway, hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.